Dolphin Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Well, some heavyweight news or cruiserweight on this way up to heavyweight news, right? Some undisputed news. Who would that be? It's got to be Alexander Ozek, baby. Alexander Ozek, the only undisputed guy in boxing, right? So the rumors come out, right? Rumors come out about his sparring with Vladimir Klitschko. Say he's dominated Vladimir Klitschko, right? So bad that Vladimir Klitschko, after one round, kicked him out to gym. Told him, don't be beating me up like that in front of the press. Get somebody else in here. Now, the boxing pundit Johnny Nelson, who was a good fighter himself in cruiserweight division, all right, don't get it twisted just because he's talking. He used to fight himself. Uh, he said, you know, he said that this is his news. And I've heard him say this before. It's not really new news. I just don't know if it's out there. I'm putting it out there again because I believe it. That's why. You know, it's like he didn't say, hey, a dude working at Johnny's construction site. I saw him do a good job against uh, Klitschko. No, he's talking about an undisputed dude who went everywhere to beat everybody, not at home. In the cruiserweight division, he dominated Klitschko for a round when that was when Klitschko was getting prepared for Tyson Fury. I believe this news and uh, this sounds like an Alexander Ozik to me, something that he is possible to do, capable of to do. Excuse me. And, uh, you know, and um, let me just say this, too. You know, it's, it's sparring. Sparring is relative. We're not saying, hey, well, you know, he beat Klitschko up for over 12 rounds. Or they started the day at the same. Sparling is always relative. Klitschko could have probably did 15 rounds with other guys. And the next guy came in fresh and got him around. And he still told him to get out. So it's not like huge news. News always gets out with sparring. You know, we know little things come out. You know, hey, ooh, remember Errol Spence, you know, Mayweather was supposed to be getting pieced up by Errol Spence so much that he wanted to sign him. You know, things like that. Anthony Joshua, been knocked down by David, shoot, knocked out by David Price. Knocked down by Daniel Dubar, Isaac Chamberlain, you know, stuff like that. Who else I got? I got somebody else I've, I've tried to vote down, I think. Somebody else is going to try that, um, you know, oh, the recent sparring, you know, with Joe Joyce coming out saying that Tyson Fury is, uh, you know, is all that in a bag of chips because he's sparring with him. He's saying he's Tyson Fury is better than, than Anthony Joshua and, and uh, Derek Chisora. He sparred with them all. So, you know, things are sparring can give you a little bit of what's going on, but it's not all that. Can't read into it that much. But when you say that Alexander Uzik, it's important, it's pertinent right now. He's coming into this fight on November the 10th against your boy Tony Bellew in England. And I was just doing a video earlier about, you know, the dude's a role warrior. You know, he's handling his business. And this is somebody, just keep your eye on. Undisputed, right? Uh, beat up everybody. Speaking of Joe Joyce, <laughs> he beat him up too, right? Played with Joe Joyce a few years ago. In this WSB tournament or something back in the day, about five years ago. And Joe Joyce is 6'6", a juggernaut, right? So Uzek seems to be handling his business. This is something else, you know, a feather in his cap. Johnny Nelson ain't lying here. I don't know how Johnny Nelson know if he was there or whatever. I put the interview in the description box. I haven't watched it myself because I knew this. What I've heard him say this before. I don't have to watch the interview. I knew this already. I'm just saying, this is just Alexander Uzek. And all the time I say this, guys, about Uzek, this is not some power puncher guy, right? This is a technician, you know, that technically dismantles you and at your house in front of your people, right? We're going to have to respect that. And top it off, undisputed, which nobody else in boxing is. So let's follow this dude. Don't sports talk. Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.